Hello, my lovelies. Today I'm coming to you. This is Jan of Jan Hicks Creates, in case you didn't know. Today I'm coming to you from my living room. So, still nothing on the walls, but we are getting there. We have painted this whole space and we are in love with what we've done so far. But that is not why I am here today. Today I am here to talk to you about this lamp. This is the, I'm gonna look at my iPad to make sure I'm getting it right because I wanna get everything right about this one. This is the BenQ Blue Genie LE, LED, I won't read the whole thing, but an LED desk lamp. This is a sponsored video in that the BenQ company did send me this lamp to review. And I am so glad they did. I have, I get every day all kinds of different requests for people to put ads on my videos. Most of them are just stupid. Like, oh, we made a new game and we think your channel would be perfect to advertise it. No, it wouldn't. But when the BenQ people reached out to me and I looked at the product, I did know that it would be perfect for me to try out. So. I am going to read from the Amazon page all of the features and I will kind of go over them as I'm reading. Because again, there's a lot to this little lamp that I don't want to miss. So I'm going to go over the features, talk about why I like them so much, and then I'm gonna turn you around and show, show some things that I have found with my stitching that, um, makes this lamp stand out from others that I've used. And I've used Ot Lights. My one before this was a Tektronic, which was good, but I didn't know what I was missing until I used this. So, but first, wide desk illumination. It says, features advanced lighting technology, curved head and ball joints, and lamp lights up your entire desk. So what they mean by that, if you look here, right in here, it's a ball joint. So this can tilt pretty much any angle you want it to, that you need it to. The reason I like this so much is because I do sit here with Mike next to me watching TV in the evenings. There have been times when whatever lamp I was using had, um, creates a glare on the TV. Not a big one, but enough that it disturbs Mike. So um, this allows me to angle it away from the TV, still get the lighting I need, and I don't have to worry about him fussing. Not that he fusses a lot, he's not a fusser. Not in the description, but it has a really great cord. It has a channel down the back for the cord to go through. I love that. I love that it's a blue kind of braided, braided, um, it's probably not fabric, some kind of polyester cord. It is really heavy duty. I don't know about you other people with cats, but our cat Sasha used to chew cords. He loved to chew cords. He'd have a hard time chewing through this one. I don't know how that cat never got shocked. I really don't. Anyways, adjustable color temperature and brightness. The lamp features an adjustable knob to enable you to adjust between cool and warm color temperatures and control your brightness level. So that is what this is up here. You can see that little green light is on. That signifies that it is on e-reading mode. So it's a mode that kind of dims down the light a little bit. So there's not as much of a harsh glare, but you can, so you press this to change the color temperature and it's, I think you can see it changing. It is like every degree between hot and cool. If you look here at my chest and my sweater, I think you can see just how subtle and gradual that change is, but it, it really has a lot of variation to it. So you can find the just perfect setting. And then once you figure out what setting you want, then you can adjust the brightness now. That's still changing. I think I'm gonna have to press it again. There we go. That's the brightness. All right, so press, and press it and you can change the warmth, the temperature, and look how yellow that does get, and then it gets very white. 
and then press it again once you figure out what setting, temperature setting you want to change the brightness. And then when you want to put it on e-reading mode, you just press down for three seconds on the ring, and that's when that green light comes on, and then you tap it to turn it off. Very, very easy to use, and it's, it's the, the, the gradual change means that you get just the perfect setting. I like to have mine, and whenever you, okay, so let me turn that off again. Turn it on. It comes back on to the last setting you have. I usually have it on my e-reading mode after I'm done with my stitching before we go to bed. So when you turn it off and turn it back on, it comes on to that mode. You just flip the dial and the mode goes off and it does your brightness. I usually have my color setting to kind of halfway between yellow and um, blue, so it is kind of a neutral. I find that that gives me the truest colors on my stitching. All right, so then we have auto dimming mode, so it adjusts to whatever the lighting is in your room, so it's ambient, but you can still brighten it when you need it to. It's not like it stays there. When I get to my stitching, then I can turn up the brightness and lower it down to towards me. No glare or flicker. Unique design avoids screen glare and delivers a smooth and soothing light, soothing light without flickering. I don't know whether you've ever noticed that, but there are some LED lights that have a slight flicker to them. And um, I think some people are probably bothered by that more than others. And some light lamps are worse than others at that. With this one, there's none of that. And then intuitive touch and controls, I showed you that. So I have this sitting here. One of the things I really, really like about this over anything else that I've used is how heavy this um, stand is. The last stand I used, it did have a heavy base, or the last light I used, it did have a heavy base, but I found that if I really wanted to stretch the lamp over, it the, the lamp would topple. It wasn't heavy enough to handle as far as I wanted this to stretch. This one does handle it beautifully. So I have it sitting here on my little side table. And um, when I'm not using it, I have it just back here out of the way. And when I'm ready to use it, then I can just pull it forward, have it right down here over my stitching. And I'm ready to go. I can turn it whichever way I need to so that it is not bothering Mike, but it is at the angle that I need it to be. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just right right here. I love this sleek design. I think it is so cool. It doesn't look like your like normal craft light would look. Um, and it's 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 blue, so it fits in with my decor. Can't, can't beat that. Um, the wide base also gives me a place to put my glasses and my scissors <laughs> and all the other fun things. When I'm ready to change to e-lighting mode, I just press on that and it dims down. And when I'm done, I just turn it off and move it back out of the way. It is like everything I could want a craft light to be plus more. So I am going to um, flip you around, put you on my stand to look at my stitching, and I'm gonna show you some of the things I noticed with that. Hold, please. Alrighty, so many of you, I'm sure, will recognize hoity-toity. I am making good progress on the last section, but again, that is not what we're here to talk about today. What I want to talk about is subtle color that I never really noticed before. And I'm talking about the navy blue. Now, in my mind, this still is and has been navy blue. It's a good way to describe it, right? But I noticed once I started working with this lamp, 
I mean, this is the, this navy blue. I'll back up here a second. This navy blue is an overdyed floss. It is a Victorian motto floss um, called Midnight Hour. But I never really noticed any variation in that blue until I started working with this lamp. And I hope this comes across in the video. It's very subtle. But as I was stitching along, I noticed different strands. You know, I finish one strand, pull the other. It has more of a indigo purple, like in here, in here. But then there is some that are very strongly just navy. But every once in a while, you'll see some of the more indigo popping through. And quite frankly, I had never noticed that before with my other light it just i just never had seen it and i you know i love that it might not be that big of a difference most people are not going to notice or most people are not even going to care but as an avid stitcher and as a designer those kind of subtle color changes matter to me and I need to be able to see them and i never had seen them before so that's just one of the ways that I believe this lamp is going to improve my stitching, improve my just my understanding of the colors and how they're playing together. It's not like it that changes how I view this design. It just kind of makes me go, wow, that's even better than I thought it was. I hope you can see that that kind of difference. I, I hope I, you know, they asked for an honest review, and I assume if I hadn't didn't like it you know, they would be okay with that. I hope I don't sound like I'm gushing just because, hey, they gave me this lamp. <laughs> you know? I, I love it. It is fantastic. So they have a lamp as well that is kind of like a, a additional arm than the one I showed you. So it would extend out more. That's more than I need. They also have a floor lamp, which I may just, I don't need a floor lamp. This is good. But if I do, this is the one I'd be getting. They have different colors. I will be linking their Amazon page below. I will be linking their website below. So if you are interested in checking this out, uh, I highly recommend it. And hey, Christmas is coming. Black Friday sales are coming. I don't know if they're having any sales or not, but um, the possibility is there. So I will link all this below. And I hope you found this useful. Please do let me know if you have any questions and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Until then, guys, you take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.